steam bun. It's kind of like what a Hot Pocket wants to be, but can't. I've had many steam buns over the years. Every family has their own little different nuances to it, but the best that I always come back to is my mother's. So with these steam buns, yeah. see like right now I'm screwing this up. She's just telling me to give it to her. Yeah. <laughs> Story of my life. So all the cards on the table, my mom doesn't really measure. We're gonna eyeball a lot of stuff and so she feels it's right. Yeah. My mom and I never really talk about this, but I've always thought that she was like a rule follower when it came to cooking, but she's always like, ah, oh, you just gotta think outside of the box. And I've never really realized until this moment where I get that from. The steam bun, it kind of represents the four elements of a Hmong meal. So, you know, in a Hmong meal, you have your protein, rice, vegetable, or a broth, and then you have your hot sauce. But when you think about your rice, you think about that starch that kind of brings balance to the flavor, you get the dough. You want the dough to be sweet. That's why uh, we use sweetened condensed milk in there. A little side note, as a kid, the best snack is a little bit of sweetened condensed milk on Wonder Bread. Yeah. To really get that good texture of the dough, uh, you're actually using your hand. You want to really knead that. You want that kneading motion. And you know, obviously you have your protein in there with the ground pork. And the vegetables, you have your herbs and then you also have your cabbage. If you want to do a hot sauce inside and dip it, you totally can. Those four elements create what I would call a Hmong dinner table. Different cultures have different kinds of tastes and a lot of times it's either swung one way or the other when it comes to sweet and savory and spicy. But with Hmong food, it's all about finding that balance. I and mean, I really believe that that is kind of the Hmong philosophy is finding that balance. Sometimes it's, it's hard to describe Hmong food because the Hmong people have lived all through Southeast Asia. My father fought with the Americans during the Vietnam War. So after the war was over and the Americans pulled out, all the Hmong people that fought with the Americans were hunted down. So because of that, there was a great movement of the Hmong people in the, in the hills of Laos. And for about a year, it was hiding in the jungles and in the woods. And then in 70, they were able to escape and get into the refugee camp in Thailand. Her first memories of being steam bun wasn't actually in Laos, it was in Thailand when we, you know, when we came to the refugee camp. But even then, the way that they did their buns was a little different. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. She's tweaked this dough recipe at least like six times in the last year. I really like this one. <laughs> from a group of people like our people that are from the hills of Laos, we don't have all these complex flavors sometimes. It's whatever we can grow and whatever we can forage. And so to be able to take something that others might look at and say, well, that's not much, and then to be able to take it and develop flavors out of it, I think that that's really just this talent that my mom has been able to have. And for the Hmong people, home is where our people are. You know, and it's not really about a country state, it's not about a border. That's why we believe that Hmong food isn't about a produce, isn't about a product, that it's about the people. Oh, do you need, are you doing photos or do you need that off? <laughs>